Hey guys, Matt here with Finnick TG. So I have a brand new uh, ESX 6.5 uh, server stood up. When I try to connect to the embedded host with Chrome, I'm getting this error. And there is a fix for it, and this video is going to go over how to fix it. So in order to fix it, we actually have to upgrade the embedded host uh, web page. So to do that, we need to download a, a program, um, move it over to the server, and then install it on the server. So the first thing we need to do is open up a web browser. And in Google, type in VMware Flings Lab. So you should be able to click on this first link right here, the VMware Lab Flings. Uh, click on it and scroll down to this ESXi embedded host client. Um, if it happens not to be on this first page, you can always just do a search up here for it. So once you click on it, um, go ahead and read through this uh, agreement and then uh, accept it. Make sure uh, this file right here is selected. Uh, so we want this vib file and then download it. So after you download it, it should now be available in your downloads directory. So here's the file, and we need to get this file moved over to our ESXi host. Um, while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and shorten the name. It makes the command a little bit easier when we get to it. So in order to get it over to our server, there's lots of ways to do it. If you have your own way, go ahead and use it. I'm going to show you a way. Um, the program that I like to use is called uh, WinSCP right here. Um, it's a free program, and what it does is it allows you to connect to a Linux server, or in our case, a VM um, ESXi server at a folder level using um, SSH. To connect via SSH, the first thing we're going to need to do is enable SSH on our ESXi host and we obviously can't connect to it with Chrome. So open up another browser. I'm going to use IE and we want to connect to our local server which in my case is 172.16.14.20 and then um, if that comes up just to accept the unsecure certificate and then log in as root. And then once it comes up, you want to go to the top and click on the actions and then go down to services and then enable secure shell. So once that's enabled, we will be able to connect um, to a secure shell um, session. So let's go back down to the desktop and I'm going to open WinSCP and we put in the IP address of our server and then username and password so again I'm going to use root and you guys may be prompted to um, accept a security certificate so go ahead and do that once it comes up to this point we're actually looking at our server so these are the files that are on our server and then we want to go to our downloads directory where we downloaded our VIB and we want to put it into the temp directory on our server. So just drag it over there. And I already have it on here. So I'm going to hit yes. It's right here. So the next thing we need to do is connect to our server with the command line. And to do that, I use a program called Putty. And it's another pre program. Um, if you have, there's other ways to do it. If you have your own way, go ahead and do it that way. But if you don't, you can use Putty. So download it, uh, open it, and then in the um, host name or IP address, I'm going to put the IP address. So 172.16.14.20. And go ahead and accept the certificate. And then log in as root. 
and my password. Okay, so now we're connected to that ESXi host. So if we just list what's in the temp directory, we should see our file. So right there it is. So the next thing we need to do is just install that VIB file. And to do that, we have to run a command. And I'm going to try to copy it over. So let's see if it works. There it is. So the command is ESXCLI space software space VIB space install dash B. And then we point it to the location. In my case, it's um, temp ESXUI.VIB. So go ahead and run that. And it takes about um, two to three minutes for this to run through. So after it finishes, you should get operation finished successfully. And at this point, it's installed. Um, if you go back to Chrome and clear your privacy, so history, and then clear browsing data, and I'm going to clear everything, and then close your browser, and then open it back up, 7, 2, 16, 14, 20. And then log in. It works. That's it, guys. So if you found this tutorial to be helpful, um, please subscribe and give me a like.